Let's see, I'm gonna upgrade my Vile Tornado. I'm a hundred souls short of getting the Vile Cyclone. Should get that right now. Well, I got it now. I was a hundred souls short. I need 2500 for the Vile Cyclone. Oh! Alright, let me get it now. Vile Cyclone. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Go down! Look at that. And this. Alright, now I can do my Vile Cyclone. There we go, that's the Vile Cyclone. And you die. Oh, woo. nice counter. That's the vile tornado. Oh, you're ready to be killed. So be it. Die, my friend. I'm only doing this because I care. Oh, you gotta watch out. I always stand here at the very back. That's the safest spot you can be because those are going to be falling rocks that are going to break apart this platform. And where I was just standing is the safest spot. Where I'm standing right now is still pretty safe. Uh, 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 uh. Trigger, when you do an air move, I forgot to mention, when you do an air move, um, that's it, you can't do any more moves, so. That should be like the last attack you do in the air is an air move. Would it be left trigger X, left trigger Y, whatever. Just, just know that once you do an air move, you can't do any other move again. Right trigger, yes. Die. Take that. Oh, we're going down, sir. Ah. Gotta make sure I stay all the way back here, that way I don't get uh, hit by the falling rocks, or that I fall off the platform. So we one more falling rock, and it's gonna break the entire platform. So when I'm falling like this, it's time to prepare myself for platforming. Ah. Whoa! Yeah! Alright, didn't get touched. Virgil! In this circle is the once beautiful Helen, around whom so many years of war and suffering revolved. And Achilles, who fought to the last with love, is he also here? By the thousands has love parted so many shades from the world above. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with lust now. A oh, soul fountain and a health fountain. And it's making my way to gluttony now. The third circle of hell. Whoa, gotta be careful. There's some uh, fire from these freaking, I don't know what they are, cancer on the wall, tumors on the wall, they breathe fire, and that fire actually burns the rope too, so when you're actually jumping um, to go to the next rope, make sure you do it fast because your rope is on fire. The rope, the rope, the rope is on fire. Oh, I gotta be careful here. Oh, yes, oh, no, 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 no. More chains. That I need to break. Up. Ah. Okay. I'm on fire now. Hurry, hurry, break it, break it. Oh no. Oh! Oh shit. Oh no. Ah. Oh, I took so much damage. Alright, as I get to the bottom right down here, drop down and go to the right. All the way back here because there's a demon dog. 
And I gotta turn on my divine armor so I can get some health back and be protected as I absolve the demon dog from that fire. Get a relic. Oh man. That sucks. But I think there's a health fountain and a mana fountain, yeah. Both right here. It's just gonna be in that full health and full magic. So I'm good. Virgil. For the ruinous fault of gluttony are these sad souls broken by the rain and the mud. What is that beast below? Cerberus, the great worm. As a dog that craves barking, then grows quiet when he snaps up his food, so are the foul faces of the demon Cerberus, who thunders over these souls. So the boss of this level, Cerberus, is actually all the way down there. But I'm going to save it right now, and I will do that next time. I will continue my journey through Gluttony next time and fight Cerberus. So, thanks for watching. I will catch you later.